What I'm going to show you now has even better impact resistance and is super resistant to abrasion because it's tungsten carbide in a nickel matrix. So there's two different ways of doing it. I'm going to show you two of the ways. They're both a very similar consumable, but applied completely in completely different ways. That's um, about as uh, much as I can say until you see it done. Um, I can show you the first consumable. So this is the first consumable we're going to use. So you might think that's a uh, stick rod, but no, it's what we call wire rope. It is a nickel core wire. I'll try and zoom in on this, get it to focus. Right, so there's a nickel core wire in there. And then around that is a tungsten carbide um, flux, basically. Um, that when you heat this under oxyacetylene, it basically, the core wire, which is a like sort of eutectic type material, will melt. And then the tungsten carbide is actually contained in this fluxy sort of coating. The wire ropes are very flexible. It can actually be fed by hand or it can be fed by torch um, and inched out. And it is basically just applied like this, um, sort of uh, lightly agitating the pole, getting this to melt nicely. Try not to overheat the bottom, uh, the component you're hard facing and uh, working your way around the joint. So that's gonna be the first one. I'm gonna set the camera up now and try and get the focus to actually work and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so you can see we've got our, we've just shot blasted this. We've got a nice bead of um, wire um, wire rope hard facing material around there, and but we've still got this little gap at the edge here between the hard facing and the edge. So we're going to use the spray torch with um, a castelling product called uh, Tongue Tech One O One One Two. This is basically tungsten carbide again. Just done another one, sprayed beforehand with the Nitec 10224 to uh, reduce the amount of oxidation. And then we have um, hard faced it with this um, Technogenia um, wire rope, or hard facing rope. It's a flexible hard facing consumable. And uh, yeah, quite a nice result. Put a couple of mil on the top of that. And uh, this is just a, uh, a test piece. 
So, uh, yeah, we'll blast that off and we'll have a look at it when it's uh, all cleaned up once the oxides are removed.